So I'll say this, and I'm not down it. Go back to James. I'm not downing James, but I'm going to say it. James's theology of love is a step behind Jesus's, and it's a step behind Paul's. Because he says the royal law, well, the, the kingdom law. The kingdom law of love is really love one another as Jesus loves you. But for James's idea of the kingdom, it would have been love your neighbor as yourself. And I'll stick with James on this. If you could do it, he's right. You'd be okay. But doing it is, in, is not the requirement of the believer under the new covenant. It's loving as you are loved. All right. Whoever keeps the whole law, I'm in 10. I'm working my way up to the end. Whoever keeps the whole law and yet stumbles in one point is guilty of all. This is a very common verse that is quoted even in grace circles a lot among people. And, and I think we quote it pretty close to its context. James is telling us that if you broke one area, you'd be breaking them all. So don't think that just because you're showing partiality and I'm calling you a transgressor of the law that you're somehow not as bad a transgressor of the law because you know a couple adulterers. And we've all done this. We'll go, well, you know, that wasn't right. But oh, so-and-so cheated on his wife. And he's really in trouble. And then it helps us sleep at night. You know, because we go, well, that lie wasn't that bad. At least I didn't kill anyone. Have you ever heard people justify their, 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 fa their failures by, at least I didn't? In fact, it's sort of the third grade playground argument. Well, at least I didn't do this. Well, at least I'm not, you know. And then next thing you know, you're fisticuffs on the ground rolling around near the fence somewhere. Well, we don't want to get to that point, of course. But James is saying, if you break one, you're guilty of all. And then he uses a pretty simple example. It, it says don't commit adultery, but it also says don't murder. So if you commit adultery, you don't commit adultery, but you do murder, you still transgress the law. He just takes two biggies, adultery and murder, and says just because you do one, you don't do the other, you feel okay. So if you're going to judge people, this is the whole point, if you're going to judge people based on what they do, A, you have to jump back under there with them, and B, the minute you do, you break them all. So don't do it. That's James's whole point. And don't think, well, if I judge him, it's not that big of a deal. He said, murder or adultery, you do one, you don't do the other, you'd still broke them. And we might be prone to think he stretched it a little bit there. He jumped all the way from judging your neighbor to adultery. But if you think that, it just shows how you yourself reconstruct the severity of the law in relation to other parts of the law. And you're not unique. It's called being a part of the modern church where we love certain passages from the Mosaic law when it comes time to tell people they're living wrong. And we never quote other passages of the Mosaic law when it's time to tell people they're living wrong. I mean, you probably got it memorized where a man shouldn't lie with a man, lest it be an abomination. But I bet you don't have it memorized where you can't wear two kinds of cloth on your body at the same time. Or I bet you don't have it memorized where you could touch a dead body if it was your parents or your brother or your sister, but not if it were a stranger. Why? Because we need that one verse and the others not so important. And James said, doesn't work that way. You either get it all or you don't get any of it. It's incredible how much we go pull what we want when it's time to prove you should be in church and on a Sunday and Sunday's the Sabbath, even though it's not, but we think it's the Sabbath and you got to keep the Sabbath holy and yet we know where that's at in the Bible, but we didn't know that not very far away, a couple of chapters later, you can't go to the bathroom in the house. You got to go do number two in the yard with a shovel and cover it with dirt because God doesn't want your feces in the same place you eat. That's in the law? Yeah, read the whole thing. It's rough. 
Aren't you glad Jesus died to deliver you from the curse of the law? Thank God. When you reconstruct a little bit to pour guilt on your neighbor, James said, you're under the whole thing because you can't reconstruct what you like and leave out what you don't like. He said, you loved, don't kill, but you thought don't commit adultery wasn't, you know, wasn't, didn't need to be there. And he said, it doesn't work that way. 